So I'm sure like a lot of you, you've managed to get back to some sort of normality with your golf game. However, some parts of your game may not have reached that point yet. For me, it's bonkers. I've managed to lose my feel and I'm really struggling to be able to get some sort of distance and strike with these shots. Lockdown hasn't helped. You sort of lose your feel around the greens and this is probably one of the hardest things to get back. So in this video, I'm gonna see if I can improve and work out what the hell I'm doing. So without further ado, let's go. This is Nick Does Golf. Hey golfers and welcome back to another video here on my channel, Nick Does Golf. It's great to have you here for this one. Today I'm talking you through how I've managed to struggle with my bunker game ever since we've come out of lockdown. It's nice to be back out on the golf course. I'm feeling a lot more uh, in touch with my game as I have been prior to obviously coronavirus and everything else going on in the world. But one area which I've been particularly struggling with is my bunker game. And I'm gonna try and work out exactly what I'm doing wrong and to see if I can improve on the current results that I'm getting. So let's take a look. So let's play this shot here. We've got some wet sand. I'm gonna get nice and low to the floor. Face a little bit open because the sand is quite wet. We're gonna try and splash this golf ball out of the sand. So let's see what we do. And that's pretty much the result that I've been getting. Going a little bit too far. The speed's there, but just can't quite get it. Go have a look. So there's the ball just behind the flag there. Distance a little bit off. I'm going to take a look on the camera now and see what I've managed to note down what's going on. So I've just had a look at what my current technique is like and how that is faring in terms of what the actual ball is doing. And there's a couple of things which I've noted which I really do need to improve on in order to be able to get these a little bit sharper and a little bit closer to where I want it to be. So I think one of the most important things for me at the moment and what I've recognised is the reason why the ball is going long pretty much I would say 80% of the time is because my lower body is too active during the shot so I'm really sort of trying to hit it like a full shot so you, my lower body really driving towards the target this is obviously an unconscious move by myself and I'm not actually meaning to do it so what I need to do is particularly with bunker shots you need to make sure you're nice and stable and it stays nice and quiet you want to be on your left side but when you come down you don't want those legs to be really driving towards the golf ball because that's going to cause all sorts of problems in terms of your strike with bunkers and obviously uh, how far the ball is going so that's the first one which i really need to focus on keep that nice and stable just make sure the arms drop down and i really get that club under the ball another point is the fact that i look to be closing the club face down and my wrist is sort of bowing and the club is not sort of passing my hands if you like so the club face isn't going past and I'm sort of driving the golf ball forward like that. So the grip is passing my left hip, really. What I really want to be trying to do is getting that butt of the club working pretty much where my belt buckle is and I can really flip it up onto my left shoulder. So they are the two things which I really need to focus on. Try and get everything coming left and working nicely from that. So we're gonna see what I can do. We're gonna give this a couple of practice goes and see what the results are. Not quite, not quite with that one. I think in terms of tempo as well, tempo is really important. I think I'm just really trying to drive it a little bit too hard. So I'm just going to slow this one down, do exactly what I said and see how we get off. Not too bad. I think this is the thing with golf, you've got to keep grinding and see what works for you. If you've got a technique fault, work on it and see how you can improve. 
There we go. Now that was a nice one. With that one, you could see that the butt of the club really stayed on my belt buckle. I could feel it, almost feel like my right hand slid underneath it, almost like I was skimming a stone and really trying to get that club to go under the ball and it lands nice and softly. So we've got two more goes. Here's these lot and we'll see how we get on. Bit better, not quite, but it's getting there. Hmm. Not bad. So, if you take a walk up here, you'll be able to see that all the balls are past the hole. Now, I actually quite like the fact that they've gone past because it means that I've been aggressive. I couldn't think of anything worse than really being short of the hole. Obviously, it depends on how the green's sloping. In this instance, all the putts are downhill, so it's not really a great thing, but I like the fact that I've been aggressive with it. Just really need to make sure that I can get my distance control a little bit better. Um, it's gonna take a lot more practice, so let's see how we do. Over the years with my bunker shots, I've really tried to get across the ball and almost pull myself across with the club as well. What I noticed is I think I'm doing it a little bit too much. So what I'm trying to do is hit it a little bit more from the inside. I think this is gonna help uh, keep my lower body a little bit more stable and the ball popping up a little bit better. So let's give it a try and see how we get on. You know, as you can see that that has popped up a little bit higher it's not being driven it's just popped up nicely out of the sand and landed quite softly and run out pretty much whole high so that's what i'm going to focus on it sort of all ties in very nicely i'm going to give it one last ball and then we'll finish up from there so let's finish on a high let's see if we can hold it Well, very pleased with that. Let's go and wrap up and see how we've got on overall. So as you can see from those six balls there, the dispersion and where the ball's finished is a lot tighter and that's exactly what I'm looking for. The distance control is much better as well. They're a bit more of a cluster, whereas before the distance control was all over the place, the majority of them going long. So really, I'm quite pleased with how I've got on there focus point are really my lower body staying nice and stable nice and still i still quite like to emphasize me coming across the ball a little bit just to help with that ball flight and also help with the club digging into the sand it does depend on how the sand is whether it's wet whether it's dry depending on how much you open the face and how much bounce you need to present to the golf ball because this can have a massive effect on the result of the shot you're playing Another important factor is to make sure the butt of the club stays on pretty much my belt buckle all the way through the shot, making sure that I uncut the wrist as I come through and not drive the handle forwards. This is going to have a really negative impact on distance control and where the ball finishes. So some positive things to take away with that. I'm going to work on it a lot more over the coming weeks. So if you've enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button ding and leave a comment down below. Let me know, has that helped? you to understand how to play bunker shots a little bit better and how to analyze what you are currently doing with your own technique let me know in the comments i'd love to know as well as that make sure you hit the subscribe button down below i'd really appreciate it so you can help me grow my channel as i go through youtube and so i can deliver more videos for you for free 
Of course, I've got my social media platforms. They are all in the description box down below. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So keep up to date with everything that I'm doing. Interact with me, I'd love to hear from you. So I hope that has helped for you to be able to see my struggles and how I'm trying to work on them as best I can. Thanks very much for watching and see you all on the next one.